So there he is. You know, he was 138 kgs last year. This year, he's listed in our profiles as 135. So he's working. <laughs> Long passing, and now here's the big first run from Tupor. Hold the phone. The Rhino's got the ball, 22 metres long. We don't mean to be disparaging there. The boys around the school call him the big charging Rhino. And he's 135 kgs. Actually dropped a couple of kgs from last year. And look at this. There comes the Rhino. Boy, he is tough to stop. 135 kgs of pure Tongan beef. He's the co-captain, remember. And they take it to the left. Bell. Offside here. Boyan goes for the corner. Where is the back? It's the big man. And he scores the first try of the season. Oh, will there be consultation with the touch judge? We'll have a look. They're going to have the meeting. <laughs> Try is awarded. And the man we've been talking about is Nella Tupo and Sacred Heart have the early lead. Uh, well, it was a set piece from the line-out. Brilliant. Everybody did their job. Safi set the target, and then they got it out to Boyan. We know how quick this young man is. Gets on the outside, then backs inside. And, well, who else would you want? But the man that can certainly finish, he, that's a good finish too. Good officiating. Great start. Good aggressive running from the left winger and then the support play. We saw uh, Tupo, he went out to the centre of the field, then there was a bit of a push. Let's go to Jordan. Yeah, that's right, boys. I mean, isn't it fitting who scores that first try? Tupo, when he ran that first storm-busting run, he landed about five metres away from me and the earth shook, mate. So uh, there's a bit of a bit of muscle, won't say weight, but a bit of muscle behind that boy. Expect big things in this game. Well, I think that's a, that's a key point. There's a, there's a lot of muscle behind this young man and uh, the way he's playing here, a lot of future. A line out, out to the left-hand side, Silicor. Flangers on. Left boot. It's found space, but it's also fallen into the hands of Sula. Leave it and he's met with a big hard cast in defence. A little bit of space now out to the right. The Rhino's away. Don't oh. tell me. Say it isn't so. It is. He gets a one metre try, and now he gets a 51 metre try. Well, the archives, they'll be showing that years and years to come because his father played for Tonga and he has scored two tries in this match we've only been going 11 minutes where did he come from firstly the break from Bell to the first five Bavistock and he got the ball Keith when I would suggest to you about the 50 meter mark that's right and you know he scored a runaway an intercept try in their pre-match uh, pre-season match down in Wellington against the Cup of Scott Scholars he merely get the ball here gets it before the halfway line so it's a 51 meter run and you've got to feel sorry for Troy Simpson who led the Harker so brilliantly for Kelston that's a hell of a job boys just here from sideline um I haven't seen anyone like Daniel have a cult figure like he does with these um, students that are on the sideline. He's like a messiah to these boys, chanting and raving every time he gets the ball. It's fantastic. I'd give him the green light as well if I was uh, Stevenson on that occasion. Wow. There he is way down there. Now, remember, in the previous kickoff, they kicked it directly to him, so he's kind of back as a, as a fullback. Uh, so there he is almost away uh, in the right-hand side, but he's they've left it a bit short of him this time. But he might get the pass to be first cab off the ramp. Yes, he is. From Mario as well, the man has come on for Kunis. And Kelsen looking to clear it. Hold two. Bouncing ball to midfield has gone to Bell. Bell feeds Harvilli. This is a good guy, this uh, only hung out. Harvilli, they call him Hung. Away to the right. Nice push through by Bavistock. In towards the corner. Cross comes try scorer Simpson. And he kicks up to his opposite number, Joey Tahuna, who makes a quick pass in field. And now at halfway, it's gone to another run by Tupo. Will they stop him? Will they? Boys, high school coach, the message would be don't give the ball to this guy. 
60 metres out. <laughs> the first tackle was missed by Tangipa. And then once he broke it, have a look at this. The chase wasn't great there. Tangipa got it, 60 out. There was the first missed tackle from Tangipa. Then he broke the second. The dummy through. And then the absolute pace to finish it, the hat trick. Boys, the best he, of the season. He does not need to be in the front row. Put a one in front of that three, mate, and chuck him in the back line. That's my suggestion. What an absolute barnstorming run. What about the dummy, Keith Quinn? That's out of the top draw. Because that's. Um, Laz, something that might add to. Sorry, that just interrupting wrong. there. Him scoring three tries on his birthday as well. So there we have it. It's Daniel's birthday today. He's put in on a show. He is putting on a show, all right. So there he is. You know, he was 138 kgs last year. This year, he's listed in our profiles as 135. So he's working that. There he is. Catches the ball back. And the kind of... Oh, well, I don't know if that could be a Dominic Devine. He's got his own form. They call him the Big D. And there is Tupo. Got nice work by Tupo. Makes a lovely pass. And flying down the sideline is Suat. And he scores in the corner. Renault Suat. Fourth try of the afternoon for Sacred Heart. The ball skills shown here. There's the man that scored a hat trick. Callagher, the captain. Lovely draw and pass. And then watch this. Changes the ball, gets down nice and low, and scores the try in the corner. Well, um, Amant Tupo as, uh, shows he can do everything. He made a lovely catch and pass there. And that's a very good dive, isn't it? Uh, winners, there's the Puma Man of the Match Award. The camera crew's cut to this guy. Is this their way of saying uh, that uh, the big rhino is in line for the Puma Man of the Match? Three tries so far. Communicating very well. And look at the skills here of Tupo there. Committing three tackles and then the offload. That one there, if it found space and Havili was able to hold on to it. Passing it away still. Tupo. He's a generous player, isn't he, as well as a talent. We've seen the work that he's put in with Auckland over the years. The Sacred Heart want to carry on. Here is Tupo, the man that scored three tries. Not back to 10 metres. Here goes Tupo again. He's done everything. There's the tight hit prop. Scored three tries there. He wants to carry on with things. There, taken by Coloto. Male Coloto. Look it up, look it up! This is Conrad Heath. And there is the man who's having the last say. He's had so much of the say in the game. Nella Tupo, Daniela Tupo, kicks the ball away to clinch the victory on their home ground for Sacred Heart College over Calston by 39 to 15. Second half was very even, it was only five all in the second half, but led by three tries to this man, it was Sacred Heart who dominated the first 35 minutes to clinch the well-taken victory by 39 to 15.